Good afternoon, guys. As promised, here I am again, and uh, with our vlog, you're going to learn something new or additional again today. So as promised, I'm going to differentiate to you what a goal is compared to an objective. And of course, uh, the much more important part is that I'm going to teach you how to write or formulate smarter objectives. Because like what I told you, there's always some science behind doing things, particularly this one, writing objectives, okay? So let's start with how different is a goal from an objective? We always confuse them, right? We take this as this and vice versa, but they are actually different terms. So starting today, you should already know the difference between the two. So when we say goal, as it says here, it answers the question, what? So what are we trying to achieve or attain here? Whereas an objective answers the question, how? So if this is what we're trying to attain, how are we gonna meet or exceed it? How is it gonna become possible? How are we gonna bring it about, okay? And one more thing is that a goal is always long-term. Be it we're talking about one year, two years, three years, or five years, a goal is always longer in time frame as compared to an objective. So, on the other hand, an objective is short term. So we're talking about daily, weekly, monthly, um, biannually, quarterly, etc. Okay? So, because goal is your answer to the question what, and the objective is the, the answer to the question how, that means that the goal is the destination, not destiny. Okay, let me just correct this, destination, whereas the objective is the journey or the experience that you have to go through to attain the goal, okay? So I hope that clarifies the difference between a goal and an objective. And now, let's go to the very important part that I know you guys have uh, been waiting on. How do we write objectives that are smarter? Okay, first, we have to define what this acronym SMARTER stands for. S means specific, M means measurable, A means attainable or achievable regardless. Okay, R is relevant, so it's not uh, realistic anymore because come to think of it, they always change it to relevant because when we say realistic, isn't it just synonymous to attainable or achievable? So it won't be redundant to A, it has already been changed to relevant, okay? And then T for timely, time bound, or there must be a time frame. And then E, it has to be evaluable, meaning you have to be able to monitor or track and evaluate it from time to time. And then of course it has to be recorded things, or rather plans, goals, objectives, have to be recorded so you always have a visual reference that you can get back to if you want to check where you're at in the implementation of, of carrying out your objectives, okay? So, let's say that in our example, the goal is to hit a sales target of three million. So, more often than not, goals are generic or broad. It is in the writing of objectives that we make it much more specific or particular. So, smarter, we can just uh, treat it as the criteria against which or by which we can ensure that our smarter objective is doable, okay? So, let's do it this way. Let's just say that to hit a sales target of three million, we need, or this company needs to focus on digital or online or internet marketing. And one of the objectives determined is that to post about the product, whatever this product is, by the way, five times a day for five days for the next 30 days. So this is very specific. We can know that our objective is specific if it answers the five W's in an H. What are those? Who, what, when, where, why, which, and of course, how. And to add to that, we can know that our objective is specific if it's number one, observable, meaning you would have statistics, studies, facts, paperwork, documentation, report, databases, etc. that can, you know, back it up, all right? So you would always have something to get back to. And of course, it has to be measurable, but let's uh, save it for later because the measurable part is actually the next letter of SMARTER, okay? So this is already specific because it tells the doer that uh, to hit a sales target of three million through digital marketing, he or she has to post about the product five times a day for five days for the next three days. And one more, one more thing about 
your objective being specific is that you have to be very careful with the verb or the action word you're choosing. Once again, it has to be observable and measurable. You can't just choose any action word which you can't uh, justify or there's not going to be any quantifiable or uh, qualify, uh, I mean, yeah, quantifiable aspect or basis for it. Okay? So check. Now, M stands for measurable because there's a saying that goes, what we can't or don't measure, we can't or don't manage. So there has to be a measurable aspect or factor of your objective. So in our example, what is the measurable factor here? Here, you can always see it, five times a day, for five days, for the next 30 days. Although this one right here will fall under T, which I'm gonna talk about in a bit, okay? So there has to be a measurable aspect of your objective. So when you already carry out your objective, okay, from time to time you can check whether you're on the right track or whether you're able to apply to the letter what the objective tells you to do, okay? And then A, of course, A is something you can't or won't be able to see in your objective because A is something you ask yourself. If this is my objective, if I would like to attain to hit a sales target of three million, is this really gonna be doable? Is this really gonna be workable? Is this really gonna be feasible? Okay, so the A part, which stands for achievability or attainability, is something you have to, of course, uh, answer yourself. But there's one thing I have to add to this. There's a saying that goes that if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So there's nothing wrong challenging yourself or trying to do something that is much harder, much higher, uh, or much more difficult than what you got used to, okay? So that's fine. Once again, if you want to achieve something, you really have to challenge yourself every once in or every so often, okay? So the R part here, because it's not realistic anymore, because it's just redundant to A, which stands for achievable or attainable, R stands for relevant. This is something that you also have to ask yourself. Okay, is my objective really related to the goal? Meaning, would this really be responsive to the goal? Is this a corresponding action for the goal to happen? If yes, then my objective is relevant, okay? And then, just like what I said earlier, the next 30 days, there has to be a time frame involved because if it's not, if, if it's not time bound, then when would you be able to sit down and assess whether you were able to do it to the letter or successfully or efficiently or not. So there really has to be a time element, okay? So we only have two left. E, e only means that whenever you are thinking of objectives, that it has to be valuable because it's not 100% that the, the objective that you wrote in the first place would always be what? What's gonna work for you to attain the goal because there's really that room for improvement or there's gonna be a margin for error. So E has to be in here because from time to time you have to evaluate whether this is really very effective or not, okay? So evaluable. And last but not least, in anything that we do, we try to document them because there are visual, auditory or kinesthetic learners. But let's say that you are a visual learner. If you would like to have something visual to get back to or refer to, then it's very important that our goal and our objectives are written down, okay? So once again, this is the smarter way of writing your objectives that will respond to the attainability of your goal. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching and listening. Hope you learned something today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.